Hey friends, welcome to another video. I wanted to create this one because I've gotten a couple of questions about uh, art placement as well as where to find big pieces of art. I have certainly learned lessons over time when living in my old condo and now in my new house. So I want to share some of those lessons with you and especially focus on things like big art, where to find it, and how to group and place pieces of art. But before I go into that, I just wanna put out a disclaimer. I am not a professional interior designer. I am a homebody and just very interested in this topic. So um, just take these uh, lessons as a learning opportunity so I can share my two cents with you. All right, so with art, I know it can be very expensive, uh, especially big pieces of art. If you have a big wall that you want to cover and you wanna create a focal point for that, Something that I would recommend that I actually did a lot for my home is to DIY art. I went to Michael's or a local craft store and I bought a canvas, the largest I could. Uh, uh, funny story actually, when I went to go buy a super large canvas, I didn't realize that it wouldn't fit in my car. So I actually had to ask my fiance to come pick me up with our larger car um, while I was standing out in the uh, parking lot. Uh, with these huge canvases uh, that I couldn't fit in my car. But anyways, learn from me. Make sure you have enough space in your car before you buy the canvas. But what I would do is buy a blank canvas and uh, try to DIY it, especially if you are starting out um, or you just purchased a home. I know you probably wanna spend your budget on other things. I will say, eventually, uh, I do fully encourage you to support uh, your favorite artists by purchasing from them. But to start, if you want to create a focal point in the room, DIYing is an excellent option. Uh, what I did was I just bought some acrylic paint and I painted uh, these two actually behind here, as well as another painting I made in my previous residence where I looked up online and I was sort of going for a more abstract art one because it's easier to DIY and two, uh, I wanted to go for a little bit more of a contemporary or modern vibe. Now, in terms of uh, different options or how to place it, a uh, couple of tips here. One, I would say um, make sure that when you are done with your piece and you're ready to place it, that you hang it at eye level. That means you want to approximately hang it 60 inches up from where the ground is to where the middle of that piece of art is. I've been guilty of approximating without measuring and sometimes it can look off. I will admit there are some pieces in my house that are not exactly at eye level, um, but I would say recommendation and from what I've seen both online and in books uh, to hang it 60 inches from the ground. That's, uh, or at least where the middle of the piece of art is. In terms of grouping art, uh, I would recommend you know, taking two similar pieces if you can't find one large piece and putting the canvases together. So this is an example behind here where I took two big canvases and I wanted to make an even larger piece. So I spaced them out um, just about two to four inches apart. And that's the general rule, especially if you're creating uh, a gallery wall with smaller pieces or if you're placing two big art pieces like this one to make one cohesive whole focal point. Some other tips that I have for you uh, in terms of placing art in the house. What I did was actually found creative ways to introduce it in different rooms. For example, I found a shower curtain print that had this really large geometric shape that I wanted to put in my guest room to make it bright and energetic and and I use that curtain as my focal point or my giant piece of art. You can find those on Amazon for a pretty decent price. Another tip that I have in terms of thinking outside the box for large pieces of art are to not only look for uh, screen prints or paintings but also look for things that have a lot of texture that can really introduce really different and unexpected elements and patterns in your room. For example, in my primary bedroom, I found this really beautiful piece of etched wood that's in all black. It'd be really nice as uh, a focal point and also give the illusion of a headboard. I actually bought two pieces from this store called At Home 
and I place them right next to each other so it looks like one big piece. The last thing I would say is think about not only unconventional uh, pieces of art, but also other materials that you can use as focal points for your room. For example, I've seen people hang up tapestry or different beautiful rugs with beautiful patterns as art. That could introduce another layer of texture, color, and grand size into your room, whether it's an indoor or an outdoor space. By no means is this a comprehensive list of things that you should be thinking about when you're hanging your art. For more tips, I highly recommend uh, a couple of resources. One of my favorite is actually um, this interior design handbook by Frida uh, Ramstead. And I learned a lot, not only about how to hang pictures and how to place pictures, uh, but also uh, where to place it, where to think about putting your focal point. I hope this was helpful for you. These are things that I've learned either online in books or just over time through experience. And I think it will be the same for you. Just keep on trying, keep experimenting, keep your mind open and let me know how uh, everything goes. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.